Hello, my name is Sarah and I'm one of Pearson's classroom assessment consultants. I'd like to demonstrate the powerful progress monitoring capabilities of Ames Web Plus. As we know, Ames Web Plus's benchmarking screener is an excellent tool to identify students who may be at risk on grade level. But what next? Progress monitoring in Ames Web Plus uses brief, reliable, and valid general outcome measures. The data shows how students are responding to individualized interventions and closing the gap between where they are performing and where they should be performing. Data is collected frequently and analyzed on an ongoing basis throughout the intervention period. Interventions and goals can be adapted as needed throughout the process to best meet the student's needs. Now I will show you how to set up a progress monitoring goal. It's a very simple process. Currently, we're looking at the reading benchmark comparison for third grade. You can see the hot pink exclamation points, which indicate that the student is at risk and should receive progress monitoring. To set up a goal, simply click the corresponding plus sign. And that takes us to the goal setting page. First, you will select a baseline score. And then we will select the target date and frequency. To select the target date, you just drag the circle until the end date where you want the student to reach the goal. In this case, I'm going to choose a date right before winter break. Now, in this drop down, you will select whether you'd like the goal to be weekly, bi weekly, or monthly. I will leave it at weekly. Now we go to the goal score box. Here we see a yellow box that indi indicates an insufficient rate of improvement. To set the ROI, sl simply, simply slide the circle until you reach closes the gap. So here we'll stop there. Your school district may have standards that they abide by, so be sure to check with your district coordinator. Next, you can select an intervention. And in this case, I'm selecting intervention reading and just click confirm. Then all we do is click save. Takes us back to the benchmark comparison page. And we see that we have a bar here that indicates that a goal is set up. Now you are all set to progress monitor your student. Have a great school year.